All right, Conquest Sector 4. Uh, forgive me if I'm not as chipper as I normally am. Fucking stupid iPhone, even though I turned it off, it, it's been uploading all my videos to the cloud, which then they all have to be down, re-downloaded to the phone before I can work with them in iMovie. It's just a fucking pain in the fucking dick and I turned it off before because I had have had that problem before and it I don't know if it was maybe an iOS update or something but it's been doing it again it even it even cloud stored my fucking like combined 15 second intros like video slides like it's like so fucking stupid and then Roxy just is howling at any fucking little peep she hears out in the hallway so she's really been annoying me so i'm i'm not in the best of moods but anyway so sector four seep everybody is relic seven that you're gonna face so it gets a little uh it gets a little tough um it gets tough this is the reason why you see me using this team a lot, because it is admittedly a weird team, is one of those annoying feats of not using any attackers. So here we are with two tanks and three supports. Uh, and a lot of those battles. Uh, I'm going to apologize uh, separately uh, beforehand. I thought I recorded... Um, more of my seep feet battles. Um, I either forgot to record them or accidentally deleted them. So the very last battle that you're going to see, you're not going to see the feet accomplishment because I already beat it and I just redid it. It's not like it's that hard to achieve. It's uh, beat seep without any support tunes. So all you have to do is run SLKR with a bunch of attackers and tanks. Not that difficult, especially SLKR versus Seep. That's one of the easiest matchups you could have in terms of GLs. Um, I got the max reward chest. I know I'm skipping ahead to Sector 5, but I got the max reward chest without even beating JMLS in Sector 5, which is really difficult. Not getting max rewards, that's not that difficult, but beating JMLS in Sector 5 is very difficult, because they're all, everything in Sector 5 is R8, and once you get to full R8 JMLS team, it is a doozy, it is a doozy, but, um, Whatever you can, you can get max rewards without it. I I beat Sector Five. I beat JMLS. Um, I have not gotten all of the JMLS feats, so I'm missing one feat from Seep, and I'm missing I think two feats from JMLS. Uh, the Seep feat that I'm missing is the seven hundred percent turn meter reduction. Uh, I'm gonna continue to attempt that over the next couple of days or a couple of weeks maybe honestly but um it's it's really difficult i got very very few turn meter reduction data discs this time around in hard mode normal mode i got a lot more uh tmr uh data discs and that appears to be the difference maker um i haven't given up yet i'm gonna keep trying but uh um, at least I got the max rewards crate, which really is is all that really matters, um, other than my pride and bragging rights, I guess. But, uh, yeah, JMLS is a doozy. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you'll see when we get there. Um, Right now, I'm just trying to... You, clearly, you can see I'm just using the same team over and over again to try and get that uh, no attacker's feat. Some of the feats are easy. Some of them are totally unreasonable, like 700% turn meter reduction when you can only reduce the turn meter of three characters. 
we had the same setup in normal mode. It's just obviously a lot harder in hard mode. Big surprise. That one's a doozy. Um, I'm I'm going to go back to my normal mode 700% TMR battle and see if I can tweak it to make it still work in hard mode. Um, but it's it is it's just it's a lot of dps to keep up with um i did see uh one of my guildmates said that like a vanilla gg team works if you have enough tmr data disks so if you have enough tmr data disks just go og gg versus seep it actually it definitely does work um because there's a lot of AoE there, especially if you throw Watt in there, who's good at t TMR on assist. Um, so yeah, try that if you have enough TMR data disks, but it appears I do not. Uh, yeah. Some of these battles are, are, are difficult. Like, they're not, like, impossible, but some of them are very difficult. Um, and, like, I... I often pick, you know, a Karth Nest team uh, because they're supposed to be pretty easy, but Candorous in Sector 4 is an absolute fucking beast. It's insane. Ugh, excuse me. Especially when you're trying to get some of the other feats, like... Uh, I can't remember if... I think it's Sector 5, which you'll see tomorrow. One of the feats is you have to get a bunch of dots. So, of course, you know, your choices are running Vader. Vader and um, Sidious. Uh, or you can run a Karth team. Or, well, if you're me, I ran Kira because my Karth is G12. I ran Kira, Zalbar, Mission... IG-11 and Queel. Um, thought it would keep people alive while also getting me a good amount of dots. And in some cases it did, and in some cases it just got... It mopped, got mopped. It just totally got hosed. Um, so yeah, Sector 5 is no, no joke. No fucking joke. Uh, I am happy to be picking up these Razor Crest... Uh, shards, um, I think I only have, like, 36 total still after completing everything, which seems very, like, it seems very low, but we, I do get a bunch from the reward crate, um, I don't remember how often they said they were gonna run Conquest, but it runs for two weeks, right, so I'm not getting any additional shards for a little while, uh, like, look at this, like, this isn't a terrible JKR team, and it just got hosed by IT. Hosed. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Stamina, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm not patient enough to wait for everyone's stamina to fully regen, and I'm too Jewish to spend tokens on stamina stims just in case I encounter stuff in a shop that I want to buy. Um, and sides, like, a lot of these things are still doable even with low stamina. I get it. I understand. I understand. Um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm just impatient. I'm impatient. Um, Yes, I know, I attempt plenty of the final boss battles with woefully subpar stamina, and of course, lose. I get it, but it's still somewhat, I think, helpful to see if you can get a proof of concept for something. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? The market was garbage today. Uh, futures did not hold from the night before, obviously. Fucking treasury yield went up to one, or the 10 year went up to 1.7, which is, grand scheme of things, not high, but given the circumstances, 
high, well, alarming certainly, maybe not high, but certainly alarming. It's really more about the trajectory than the actual current level, I think, because 1.7 is still not, in and of itself is not scary, but it's just the rapid rise in the the 10-year rate. That's got everybody nervous. Whatever. Um, what are you going to do? Don't panic. That's that's what you're going to do. Not, no panic. You no panic. Um, yeah, everything else is kind of, well, not everything, but most things are pretty status quo. My dogs are snuggling with me now that Roxy has decided to stop barking at everything that makes a peep. I'm going to time out in this battle, which is annoying because I just don't have enough DPS in there, I guess. We're going to swap out. Sure, that's more than enough DPS, right? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I did end up wailing on Bo-Katan. I wasn't going to. I promised myself I wasn't going to. But I did vault to wail on Bo-Katan. Um, I must not have read her kit fully or properly. Because, I mean, you do get a taunt from her. It's just there still isn't a bona fide tank. Because you're giving taunt to characters that are not tanks, they are supports, attackers, whatever. Um, by giving Candorous Ordo ta uh, a taunt, or even bo a taunt, or the Armorer a taunt, it's even with Bo and the Armorer on a team together, um, they're just not thick enough to really be viable beyond uh, tertiary C team. I know that's redundant. Um, I, I tested them out in, admittedly, in uh, Conquest, where there's you know, all these other factors at play, but uh, I was not overly impressed they really couldn't beat anything beyond Sector 3. Um, sector 3, they were fine, but once I took them into Sector 4 here, they got fucking hosed. So, look, I'm still going to use them. Uh, I mean, if for nothing else, GAC, I mean, it's, a, it's probably going to be a, a decent, you know, GAC team, a la Amon Mothma. I mean... I think Mothma's great in Gak. Um, yeah. I'm not totally convinced that uh, Bam fits in a Mando team the way he really should. Because um, it's kind of like a Death by a Thousand Cuts team. And Bam is kind of taking himself out of the game. Uh, while he's preparing for Whistling Birds. So, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it's early still. It's literally the first day of release. Even these Night Sisters hit like fucking trucks, dude. So it happens when you face a fully R7 Night Sisters team. Um, yeah, and I think this is for the Mark feet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this and that's the other thing like some of the feats you just complete almost naturally should I say but some of them like this marking 40 targets you're gonna have to spend extra energy to do this kind of stuff and I'm sorry I should have cut this these wipe videos out because well, at least that was close to a wipe, and it may very well end up still being a wipe, but... Yeah, even R7 Phoenix team is no joke, dude, in uh, Sector 4. I mean, 
When when would this Jedi team not kick the shit and curb stop a fucking Phoenix team, no matter the relic levels? Uh, we actually won that one. Okay. Alright. So we'll switch it up over here. Gotta get gotta make good use of that two percent, bruh. This is gonna be a wipe, I'm sure. Oh, especially if they're going for uh Jolie straight out of the gate. Let's make him a savior early. This is an interesting team though. Juhani, huh? Yeah. With with having a full two weeks to complete this stuff, don't be in any crazy rush. Uh, you really don't have to spend crystals to refresh your energy. Just be better than I am and be patient and just let things regen, even though they regen rather slowly. Just let things regen. There's really no sense in spending crystals. Um, especially when we have a uh, marquee release. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just impatient. I've always been impatient. It's gonna it's gonna be a wipe too. Yeah, especially we're going for Jolie. Wipe. Yeah, I try to kill two birds with one stone by advancing through the sector while also trying to get the sector feats as opposed to the individual battle feats, but sometimes you just end up creating more work for yourself. Uh, like, trying to do a JKR mirror like I just did before is, like, I don't, I don't know what would make me think that would be a good idea. JKR mirrors are, like, the worst shits since ever. Um, JKL lead is a little bit easier and, frankly, more fun. And again, I know, I know, stamina, I know, I know, I know, but I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. The people need content. If you can call this content. I guess you can call it content. It's better than not having it, right? Something to do. Something that's at least moderately challenging. Um, it's a little bit different, I guess. Yeah, marking 40 enemies is poop. stims I don't buy stims I did it in normal mode I bought stims in normal mode but then I never used them and then I just forfeited them so what's the point so I'll mix it up a little bit I really should have done Ray Jawas because that's just the most satisfying thing against Geos Wait, even more satisfying than this much more satisfying than being done in three turns. Ray Jawas versus Geos. If you haven't been sold on Jawas yet, what are you waiting for, man? Jawas are awesome. Awesome. It's always nice to have a really fast SLKR. Once conquest is over, or once I'm maybe not satisfied, content with uh, conquest, uh, after I make my Sector 5 video, 
maybe catch up on some gacks from, oh, I don't know, three weeks ago, uh, I will do another self-roster review. Um, I'm going to try and keep it to like 20 minutes-ish, because, yeah, it's, yeah. Recording a 20-minute voiceover is, good lord. Especially because I can only do it after Bella's gone to work, which is generally on the later side. And by generally, I mean always. Um, I don't like doing it while she's sleeping, because what if, you know, it'd probably be distracting to hear someone talking to their phone with nobody on the other end while they were trying to sleep. So, um, So this IT team... You can beat this easily. Like, it's just like real life. IT can beat this seep team with very little difficulty. It's just getting that 700% turn meter reduction uh, that is quite challenging. Quite challenging. Because you have to try and draw the battle out so that uh, Gideon can get another full turn meter done and it's just it yeah it doesn't happen at least not not from my experience by the way booming voice is awesome so of course get booming voice even though i don't end up even really using it all right so let me do those and then i'll come back all right here is the other feet like i said that i either forgot to record or deleted by accident so it's beat seep without any support tunes. So it's just attackers and tanks. And it is easy. Because it's SLKR. The only fight that I really don't like doing with SLKR is SLKR Mirror. Because it sucks. It's terrible. Easy. Peasy, Japanesey. <sighs> Look at that. All right, just so you have proof, right? This is where I finished up. So the last one is that the seven hundred turn meter. Not yet. Hopefully soon.